Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan as well as the author of The Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios which is published on Amazon as well as Apple's 2021 Financial Report which is published on my website. With this video, what I'd like to do is I want to go ahead and take a look at Apple's 2021 cash and cash equivalency analysis, which is on their balance sheet. I'm going to take a look at it and you know, see if we can identify some trends and whether the organization is managing their cash and cash equivalencies in an optimal manner. All right. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so for Apple 2021, here is their cash position for the last five years. It would be this information here. And then for their short-term investments or cash equivalencies would be this one right here. So we can find both of these line items on the balance sheet. In 2017, Apple's cash position ended the year at $20.2 billion. In the next two years, the organization would increase their cash position to $48.8 billion. However, in the last two years, the organization has continually declined their cash position, ending 2021 at $34.9 billion. Now, the good thing is maybe, is maybe hopefully the organization is using some of their cash position and investing it into long-term growth. We, we can't see that right now, but what we do know is there's very little consistency here. You know, as compared to sales for their cash, it's about 8.9%, 9.8%, 18%, 13%, and again, 9%. So it seems like, you know, the overall trend is about 9% at 2021, 2018, and 2017. However, in, the, in 2019, 2020, they kind of, you know, they, they really threw a monkey wrench in their consistency. So yes, the organization is liquid. They got they have plenty of plenty of cash. However, I don't like that the organization has no consistency. Um, you know, they're they're going they're going up and then they're going down. There, there's no consistency and in, inconsistency. That just it does inherent risk and risk in an organization is, in my most humble of opinions, is is not good, especially in the cash position. So a better trend would be for a consistent growth, or, or rather that they're holding a consistent cash position as compared to sales which is not evident so as for their short-term investments 2017 they had short-term investments of 53.8 billion 2018 fell to 48.3 billion 2019 went up to 51 billion 2020 went up again to 52.9 billion and then 2021 it dove to 27.6 billion Comparing it to sales, 23%, 15%, 19, 19, and then 7%. So again, the organization's lacking consistency. It, it's not showing me that the organization has an optimized, um, optimized short-term investment strategy that they're executing over the long term. It's not there. Now, the organization might be shifting over the capital structure, uh, relying less on debt or less on equity and more on debt. And they might be taking out debt right here and then redistributing it. They, can, they could be taking some of these short term assets and applying these short term assets to long term assets, which would be a good thing as well. But just based on this little um, excerpt right here, no consistency, not a good thing. You know, yes, they do have plenty of money, but we we you know as investors as analysis we do want to see consistency and it's not present all right so hopefully this information was helpful and if you do want a little bit more fun with finance i do have an apple 2021 financial report which is available on my website and all you gotta do is go to the qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash public company financial reports and on the website you can go ahead and pick up my apple financial report as well as my apple's 2021 beginner's guide to financial analysis difference between the two is beginner's guide does not have the analysis where the company report does and then also if you just want some general fun reading about finance pick up my book at beginner's guide to understanding financial statements and financial ratios at amazon.com and hopefully this video was helpful. And as always, um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up on YouTube and have a great day. Thank you.